Hey everybody, Lindsay here from Moscato Mom coming to you for Living Well Wednesday and day 23 of our March Vlogging Madness. I have missed the last few days in March Vlogging Madness. We went down to South Florida and my grandmother's internet was down. So I was kind of felt like I was cut off from the universe, but it was actually really nice to, you know, be disconnected for a few days and, uh, you know, relax and spend time with family. It was just a phenomenal trip. We drove down on Friday. Uh, the girls were great in the car. We took all of your suggestions from last week and had, you know, special snacks and games and all kinds of stuff. So they did great in the car ride on the way down. I got in, in town in time to hang out with my cousin for a little while, a little bit of the bridal party for dinner. So that was really nice to get to just spend some adult time with them. Um, Saturday we got up and took the girls to the Sponge Docks, which is in Tarpon Springs, Florida, which is just a really fun little um, sponging community. Um, everybody is Greek down there. It was uh, founded or whatever in 1929, I think Dad said, by a Greek family who owned the old Papa's. And we had lunch at a restaurant called Hella's, which is phenomenal. It is a huge restaurant there on the Sponge Docks that is all authentic Greek food. So I had the Spanakopita or Spanakopita, however it is that you say that. And Dad had a Greek salad that had the potato salad underneath and, you know, just really delicious, authentic Greek food. So if you're ever in that area, it's a really fun place to go that doesn't cost anything. I mean, there's shops. There is a little aquarium down there that you can go and see. You can go out on the sponge um, sponge boats and they can show you how they you know harvest the sponges and stuff like that just a real fun little you know afternoon that we got to spend down there and then Sunday was the wedding and it was absolutely perfect I mean just the weather could not have been more beautiful my cousin could not have been more beautiful she looked amazing uh, I cried through the whole thing you know, we are, it's so funny because we're not a family of criers. I mean, really none of us are. And I don't think there was a dry eye on the whole beach. I mean, we were all just, you know, falling apart. Um, so it was beautiful. And then we went to the reception afterwards, which had some of the most amazing views of the bay and stuff like that. So, you know, just, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then we drove home um, on Monday. And so today I am heading to Texas and I'm going to take video along the way. So when I upload either tonight or tomorrow, you'll be able to see what a typical driving day for me is heading from Florida to Texas. So that'll be fun. And then um, last thing is for Living Well Wednesday, actually, you know, last week when I checked in, I mentioned that I had lost seven pounds and that it you know, kind of motivated me to you know, get back on the, the wagon of losing weight or whatever it may be. Well, Mike saw my video. And I don't know exactly how it got started, but I think he said something like, you know, I can do better than that, or we should challenge each other, something like that. Well, being that we are both Leos and both incredibly competitive, it has spawned a competition. Um, so we sat down that day and we wrote up like rules and, and uh, almost like a contract for whoever loses the most weight. And between now and June 1st. So I'm really excited and I'm really going to probably need everybody's support. If you see me on Facebook checking in somewhere, you know, I need you to tell me to get out of that restaurant. Um, but you know, it's, it's a big competition and you know, this is one of those things where when it's Mike, it's not even about winning the money that we put up because we've got, you know, a money prize. It's totally about bragging rights. Um, so I, you know, I want to win, I want to beat him and, you know, truth be told, I won't tell him this, but you know what? I win either way because I, you know, even if he beats me by losing more weight, then, you know, I've lost the weight. He's lost the weight. That's enough for me. I will happily, you know, fork over that, that winnings if, you know, if he has in fact beat me. So, and then yesterday he, um, actually went over to a friend of ours house and was telling them about it and they've decided to jump in with us so not only am I are we competing like Mike and I but now we also have our friends Jennifer and Tony so Jennifer and I are competing against the guys so it's gonna be fun I'm glad that I've got you know an accountability buddy um, you know and I look forward to working out with her and talking to her a lot more often uh, she had twin boys this time last year um, so she is you know excited about getting back in that bikini body and you know the joke was she can still call it you know baby weight I can't call it baby weight since I'm enrolling Taylor in kindergarten this year, <laughs> but uh, you know, 
So uh, I guess that's it for me. I just hit five minutes, so I hope everybody has a really fantastic week. Sorry again that I missed a few days of the March Vlogging Madness, Shinea and Jindy. Thank you again for hosting this. I'm having an absolute blast with it. And thank you to Natalie Collinson, who hosts our Living Well Wednesday. And you can jump in and join us at any time by uh, linking up over at nataliecollinson.com. Have a great week, everybody. See you soon. Bye.